The Honolulu Theater for Youth has been teaching Hawaii's Keiki all about the theater community for years. And today, Mikey's learning how your kids can get their time to shine in a segment we like to call Kids World. If your kids are looking to start a career in the arts, we know of the perfect organization that will give them the spotlight they deserve. Now, we have Daniel Klein, Director of Drama Education at the Honolulu Theater for Youth. Daniel, good morning. Welcome to Living 808. Hey, good morning. Uh, nice to be here. Thank you. <laughs> it's awesome to have you here. Now, let's just get straight into it. Tell all of our viewers a little bit about the Honolulu Theater for Youth. Well, the great thing about the Honolulu Theater for Youth, I think, has been around such a long time. It, you know, was founded just before Hawaii even became a state, um, and it's one of the oldest theaters in the country. So it's very well established here and has a good reputation in the community. Uh, but amazingly, some people don't know all the things that are available. Um, but Honolulu Theater for Youth offers a whole range of possibilities from um, productions that uh, are done for families and students all the way through to education programs that are done in the schools, done in the community that uh, students and uh, children can be a part of. During this pandemic time, obviously, some changes have had to be made. So a great deal of the production work is, uh, is on film, you know, is on TV rather than live. Um, and we're going into schools virtually and doing programs virtually, but still we're making those programs available. So there's a lot of opportunities through our website, et cetera, to be involved in uh, programs at HTY. Uh, let's talk about the education. What, what type of education do you guys provide for the youth of Hawaii? Yeah, we've got, we basically have two kinds of programs. Number one is uh, a, a lot of work that we do in collaboration with the schools locally. And so we go into the schools and do programs in, um, in the classrooms with the students, all grade levels, all age levels. And then a second part of the program is program we do in the community. Um, and that includes um, a Saturday program that's ongoing in, in, during each semester, and then a couple of summer programs that we have. So if people in the community of kids that are, you know, anywhere from six years old on up would like to be involved in um, drama-based programs, then uh, they can look us up at the, on our website um, and come and join us on our Saturday programs. We're just about to launch information about our summer programs. We have a summer program for our seven to nine-year-olds called our Summer Drama Adventure in in which they work on a story together and break it into little pieces and create a performance at the end of it. And our tween scene, which is for 10 to 13 year olds, in which they develop an original story that's really based on um, stories that they're interested in telling. So we never know quite what's going to end up with that one because it's really based on the people that sign up for it. Um, the school based work we do, those uh, are available to any school that would like to bring us in and have us come and visit their classes and engage the students creatively and dramatically in exploring things from many levels. So they perform, they, they work together in the classroom, they creatively connect with each other uh, and also the studies they have in the class. So schools, again, can look us up and say, hey, how do we get that into our classroom? So a, a great variety of things. And currently, because of the pandemic, we actually ended up doing stuff we didn't expect to, which is to create all these online videos. Um, so if families are interested in doing little creative activities together, we've got these uh, three to five minute videos that they can engage in and create their own play right at home. Um, and for schools, it's the same thing. We have these videos that are all about social emotional learning. So these two, three, four minute pieces that teachers can just uh, plug in and show to their students and their, their interactive pieces. We have the students involved right with us to get up and move around in the class. So as you said, there's a whole variety of things available. Now, I want to know a little bit more about the youth classes because I know a lot of our, our families right now are taking notes and they want to send their youth, their kids to um, some kind of drama program. Let's talk sure. about those. We do a Saturday program each semester. Um, and that, that program is really kind of an, um, an early program, a program meant for, for children that are kind of interested in getting creative and getting dramatic. It's a very exploratory class to give them a chance to, to try out. We often have students have done very little creative work and are a little nervous and shy, but this is a way to kind of open them up and start to get them engaged with their own creative selves. So it's not just learning lines particularly, but it's them contributing to it. What dialogue would your character say? How would you like the action to look? So we really want the students to say, I can be a creative individual on many levels and build my skills as an artist. Like you were saying, just a place to be able to, to practice that and learn how to, to, um, uh, to capture it and use it in a way that can be very engaging. 
Yeah, that's cool. It's 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 a great way to get their their feet wet, you know, yes. <laughs> for exactly. a little bit of the 15 minutes, maybe like five yes. minutes. Yes. Exactly. exactly. Now, Daniel, if any of our viewers wanted to um, log online to learn more information, is there a website that they could visit? Yes. It's pretty simple, htyweb, htyweb.com. Just go to htyweb.com. You got a, a whole menu of things to just search through and find there. Daniel, thank you so much for talking with me. Um, it's a kid's world and we're just living in it. <laughs> and they're great way. for us. Thank you yes. so much for all of the great insight for all of those cool programs that you're offering the youth. Um, everyone will have more information on kh one two. Dot com. Daniel, have a great rest of your day, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Such a great opportunity for kids, and I know those programs do fill up fast. There's so much interest in getting kids involved and learning all the aspects of the stage and production and theater, and, and you can tell how much fun they're having from those pictures we're seeing. You know, we've all had to get creative, but mm -hmm. some good has come out of this pandemic uh, with learning new things, mm -hmm. learning to do, uh, uh, learning to teach new ways, and I think um, they're doing such a fabulous job, and it's great to have them on Kids World. It is. One of the silver linings of everything we've been gone through for the past almost a year now, thinking about it now that we're in February. You know, yeah. living in a way it prides ourselves in being well-rounded.